All right, let's look at uh, target 12 here for uh, the probability unit combinations. Combinations are about the group. We're making a group. We're putting a group together, a set. We're not making permutations where we care about the order. We're just throwing a group together. So for your birthday, your parents take you to dinner and let you have any two desserts off the menu. This restaurant is famous for desserts. They have eight on the menu, and you get to pick two combinations. How many different combinations of two can you make? Well, I've got eight, and I'm choosing two. And I could put that equation right into my calculator. Or I can think about it, what does that actually mean? Well, that means that I would have eight factorial ways to arrange that, and then there's six desserts that I'm not picking, so I'm going to divide those out. And my group size that I'm making is two, so I'm also going to divide it by two factorial. You should notice some patterns here, that if you subtracted these two, you get this number, and then this is just that second number again which then that builds the equation for these, which is ncr, which is built from n factorial over n minus r factorial, which is just like permutations, but then another r factorial, because we need to divide out by the group size, because we don't care how the group is arranged. It's a group size of two in this case. I don't care if you arrange them a, b, or b, a. It's still the b, a, or a, b group, so it doesn't make any difference. Okay? Now, uh, 8c2 and calculate it this way, now I can get my final answer. Now one thing we want to touch on here is the blanks way to do this. Show your work using blanks and factorials. Well here's the factorials. The blanks would be, I would sit here and I would go 8, 7, 6, 5, all the way down, and then on, you know, I'd keep that going. On the bottom though, I've got a 6 factorial. That is 6, 5, 4, 3, and so, so it's going to end up canceling all of those, so those are going to all go. So on the top we just have the 8 and 7. We haven't used this 2 factorial yet. 2 factorial is 2 times 1. So realistically, it's just 8 times 7 over 2 times 1. 8 times 7 is 56 divided by 2 is 28. Or I could go to my calculator, and I could go on here, and I could go 8 math probability choose 2, and you'll see the answer is 28. So that works as well, and we end up getting 28 as our final answer there. So it's a very similar formula, similar idea. Once you know it's combinations, you're going to be putting it into 8C2. You can use the factorials, you can use the blanks, and of course the equation is here as well.